What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're creating a sketch illustration of Knuckles the Dread from Sonic Prime. Let's begin today's lesson by sketching a line coming down the center of our page. We're gonna start at the very top in the middle. I'm gonna bring this line down towards us. Now I wanna add another line going across from left to right. So starting in the center, extend this out towards the left, and then the right side. Now you use these lines to help us create a circle. So from the center, let's go all the way up towards the top. Just mark off the top of our circle. And then we want to take that same distance down towards the bottom and do the same thing. Let's repeat that process across this horizontal line. So taking that same distance towards the left and marking that off and then over towards the right side. Now we're gonna use each of these marks to help us create that circle. Let's connect the top and the left side with a curve. Just going out and then down, and then just going all the way around the outside of our circle. Now this doesn't have to be perfect. We just want to get the right size and location on our page. Just going back and just readjusting the shape. Now with our circle in place, let's add two more guidelines coming down the side of our circle. So we'll start with the left side and then the right. Now I'm gonna place the character's muzzle along the bottom half of this circle. So starting in the middle, let's start by bending this out and then down toward the left, rounding out the center and coming down towards the right. Let's round out the bottom and just pull that back up towards the outside of our circle. Now I'm just gonna round out the cheeks, coming around and then in. And I'll raise the bottom of the chin just a little bit higher than the bottom of that circle. So come down, just pull that into right about there, and then back up towards the right. Let's sketch a small oval along the top of the nose. Going around. And then we're gonna shift the mouth over towards the right side. From the center, let's step over towards the left, bend this out, and up towards the right side. And just add a small bracket on the end. Now let's move up and draw on the brow. Let's start by enhancing that center line, going up. Now we're gonna draw the left eye, starting over towards the left, bend this out and then up. Now I just wanna flatten this off by curving this out toward the side of our circle. Now I wanna give our character a shifty expression, so we're gonna raise up the right brow. So we're gonna step over, just gonna bend this up a little bit higher, round up the top and go out towards the side of our circle. And then from the top, bend the eye coming down and then in on top of the cheeks. Just gonna round up the right side. And now we're gonna pull the iris and pupil towards the inside. Starting over on the left, draw a half oval, coming down toward the bottom and then back up. And just match that up on the right side. Now that we have the general features of the face, we're gonna work our way out. Let's start by enhancing the brow. From the center, let's step up. We're gonna follow that curve, going up and then out towards the side. And we'll follow that right curve, going up and then out towards the top. Now we're gonna add those dreads coming along the side of the head. Let's start from the cheek. We're gonna come down and in on the left. Let's bend that back down. And then once more, we're just gonna bend that back in. Let's go over towards the right side. We're gonna start by coming down and in. I just wanna curl it around the bottom and then bend that back out towards the right. Let's go back over towards the left side, step out, and we wanna trace that same curve tapering down towards that point. So we're gonna start out here, come down towards the bottom. It's gonna to start to get a little bit narrower as we come down and then back in. Let's do the exact same thing on the right. We're gonna step out, come down, get narrower as we come in towards that curl and then out. Now I wanna connect the ends with a curve going up above that circle. So we're just gonna trace out the circle on the outside, going up in the middle, and lightly going out and down towards the right. Now the hat's gonna sit on top of the head. From the top of the brow, let's step out towards the side. I'm just gonna bend this up in the middle, and then bend that back down towards the right side. 
Now we want to fold the back of the hat in behind the head. So on the left side, let's step down, angle this up and out. Step down on the right and do the same thing. And then we want to bend the hat coming back in and out. So let's start back on the left, going around and then in. Do the same thing on the right. Let's bend the hat going back out. So just going to round out the inside and then bend that out. Now for the top of the hat, we just want to get the basic shape and the curve coming in towards the center. So, so let's start back over on the left side, come in, and just bend that up towards the top, right in the middle. Come down and out towards the right side. Now that we have the curve of the hat, we want to open up the center. So from the middle, let's move over toward the left, bend this out and then down. Go to the right side, just line this up, come down towards the same height. And then from here, I'm just going to bend this down and then in towards the center of the head. Now the hat's going to sit along the top. So starting over on the left, let's just bend this up and then back down. Now I'm going to go back and add the second layer of dreads. Let's start from the very top, bend this out, come down, and then in. Let's go to the right and do the same thing, going out and then bending that in. Let's curl this back up, coming around, and then up toward the left, and then the right side. And I just want to taper this so it gets wider as you come back in, and just tuck that up underneath. Now we're going to move in and add some detail to the jacket and the body. So we start on the left and right side, Curve the jacket coming in and then down toward the bottom of our page. Go to the right side and do the same thing. Let's add the top half of the collar. So right here, angle this up and out. Go up and in underneath the head. Let's go back to the inside. Draw the bottom half coming down and out. And we'll curve this in and then down towards the bottom of our page. Now you want to draw the top edge of the vest, coming down and in towards the center like a V. In the middle, draw a straight line coming down, and add a small circle on the right side of that center line. Now I'm going to go in and add a second level of detail. Let's start by adding a thick trim around the hat. Starting right in the middle, and step down. It's going to follow this curve on the left side, going out and then up. Do the same thing on the right. Now I just want to pull this up and then in toward that top point. Now let's work our way over towards the left. From that top point, curve this down and then out. Now it's going to work our way along the side. So we're going to step in, following that curve, coming all the way down towards the bottom. Now we want to add some straps along the side of the dread. Let's start from the cheek, start by the curve going up and then down toward the outside. Let's line this up on the right. Now I want to step down and draw that again for the bottom edge of the strap. And then from the inside we'll step down and draw another curve, just bending this down a little bit further along the bottom. Now on the bottom left, we want to step up, add another curve. Step up, add that again, and then one more time. Let's add a single strap over on the right. Starting from the curve, going up and down. Step up and draw that again. Now we're going to add some straps along the top of the back dreads. Start on the left, curve this up and out. Step all the way down and draw another curve. Let's add one more just down below. Now along the bottom, we're going to change the direction of the curve. Starting up here, curve this down and up along the inside. Step down and draw that again. And now with our rough sketch in place, let's go back and lightly erase some of these guidelines to clean up our drawing.
Now that we have our clean drawing, it's time to add some details and refine the shape. Let's start with the nose. We start by darkening up the outside perimeter of the nose. I also want to add a small highlight on the top right side with a smaller oval. And it'll darken up the bottom left. And then just fade that out as you get towards that highlight. And we still want to have a hard edge around that highlight. And then from here, just going all the way around the muzzle, starting from the top and the center. Just pulling this out towards the cheeks. Now go in and darken up the mouth. and then work our way around the eyes. I want a little bit of an overlap on the outside of the eyelid. Just tuck the side of the eye in underneath. Trace the iris along the inside of the pupil. And we'll add a small highlight along the top left side. And we'll just darken up the center of the pupil. Again, just going around that highlight. I'm just going to add a light, even shade around the inside of the iris, going around the pupil. Fade that out along the bottom. Now from here we can move all the way up to the top and draw the edge of the hat. And this will overlap the head and the details. I'm just darkening that up. And then folding the brow underneath. So we start off dark along the top and just blend that down. Now you want these bands to just overlap the edge of the dread. I'm just going to pull these out a little bit further. Pull them back in. So there's a little bit of a lip along the bottom edge. Working our way back to the back dreads. We're going to move up and start working our way around the hat. Again, we can just refine the shape if needed. Starting with the outside edge.
use the side edge of my pencil to darken up the top of the hat. Starting from the top left and working our way down. I just want to fill the entire area first. And we can come back and add some more detail and smooth that out after. And we're just switching back to the tip of our pencil and just refining that shadow. Let's add a light shade to the trim, and this will help us remove some of those guidelines underneath. Now it's okay to shade over that line because we're gonna come back and darken up this area anyways. back down to the bottom. I'm just going to darken up the bottom edge of the hat to cast a little bit of shadow and also adding a little bit of shape because we want to roll the bottom edge underneath. So this bottom edge will sit in some darker shadow going in towards the middle and we're just going to blend that up as you go towards the top of the hat. Now we're going to add a light shade to the entire head area. Going around the eyes. This is going to help us set up the base for the shadows. That's going to cast a shadow on top of the head, so we're just going to darken up the top and then just blend that down.
And I want to go back and just add a darker shade to each of the straps. So starting one by one, going across. Now in this final step, I want to go back and increase the contrast of our shadows. Now as we get closer to finishing off our drawing, we'll tighten up our shadows and add a little bit more detail and always be sure to sign our artwork and that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Knuckles the Dread. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please give this video a like and share it with all your friends. And if you want to keep drawing with me, you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.